Well, getting ready to leave tomorrow for Canada and Alaska. Roger setup. DIY master. We are set up in my son-in-law's front yard. And we can't wait to go. Can't wait. Loading up all the peripheral BS in the truck and trailer. Way too much stuff in my opinion. But, you know, you got to have a... A certain amount of this stuff. And there's Raj. Now, yeah. and our new brake pads. Yeah. Well, we'll talk to you again a little bit later. Well, it is Monday. We are leaving a little later than expected. Getting ready to say goodbye to the kids and uh, get on the road and hit the, the border. Roger and his boys are ready. We're ready. We will get back to you when we get there. Bye. Well, Sumness, Washington, there's the border crossing, and I'm sure they're not going to let us uh, record the crossing, but we are ready. Took us about, I don't know, 45 minutes to get to Sumness via, and there's Roger going to do paperwork. Deb's already over there at uh, the U.S. side. Here's Grace. And a very nicely done Smitty built trailer. We will let you know how everything goes through Canada. We are heading to Tuck. What is it? Tuck Tech Toya Tuck. And say hi to Jackson and Wyatt. Hello. Hey. This is gonna be fun. Our newest addition. Mac tie down uh, hitch vise. And then our aluminous shovel and axe mount. Really liking that because it locks. I don't have to worry about anybody jacking my stuff. All right, well, that's it. We will get back to you as soon as, uh, that's a loud truck, as soon as we're on the other side of the border. This ought to be fun. All right, people. Welcome to British Columbia. We made it into Canada, no problems. Sure yes, left. you can bring firearms into Canada. You just gotta go through some paperwork and keep that paperwork with you. Don't try to bring pistols, they won't let them in. But if you have a shotgun or a long gun, they let them in. And uh, we are now in Canada. Canada, baby. Oh, yeah, Canada. Whoops, sorry. Zoom in on this. Site number one. 
and got on uh, dirt roads the first day in British Columbia. Deb strikes again and finds this absolutely spectacular camp spot. I mean, it's it's a it's a construction, I guess, sport, boulder storage area. The bridge that we went across looks like it washed out a while back and now they're refixing it. And we were going to go to uh, an area down below, but this is cool because this area keeps us out of the wind. And we still have all this to look at. But right down here, let me show you this. Big old deer tracks, either that or elk. Yeah, this is absolutely, Canada's beautiful. My first trip to Canada, and I'm loving it but uh, yeah we we'll check out this spot over here see what everybody thinks but yeah it's just unbelievable and Deb found this just by digging on the internet as we drove she uh, does some amazing stuff with uh, maps and always finds us a good camp spot now is this the most perfect spot in the world probably not but it's perfect for today because we're just looking for a place to lay our heads until we get back on the road tomorrow heading up to tuck the uh border crossing went painless it took a little while because we got a new border agent but we got in no problem, even with a firearm. Um, don't, you know, you can bring firearms up here, no pistols, long guns only. Um, and for our shotgun, because it's semi-automatic, you had it had to have a minimum of an 18.5 inch barrel. If you have a uh, pump shotgun, as long as your overall length is 26 inches or more, it and the barrel came in at under 18 and a half it doesn't matter um, as long as that barrel was uh, the factory barrel but I want y'all to check this out this we've been seeing these kind of rivers Ever since, we, ever since we came into Canada. And right there is where we were gonna camp, but it all got washed out. And this is a brand new bridge, so hopefully it'll still be here in the morning. Yeah, so it's been, uh, an amazing trip so far and um, this is going to be the end of day one and uh, tomorrow will be the start of day two and we are heading directly up to uh, I can't pronounce it Tuck Toyak Tuck um, up above in Inuvik I mean a lot of people have been there it's and uh, we're looking forward to it. So I hope everybody's having a great day and we will talk at you later. And there is my lovely navigator. She is awesome. Say hi. All right, see ya, bye.
Murphy's Law once again. This beautiful uh, logging road in British Columbia and yeah. That happened. Sheared off axle. Bent fender. So now we gotta replace that whole swing arm. Yep. Yeah. Was not expecting this. But it is what it is. Hello, it's Mike and Deb from Iron Horse Overland, and we, um, it is the. What? Why? Well, we don't even know what day it is. 15th of June. We're on day three of our trip into Canada, and the first day was awesome. Came across the border, no uh, no drama. Yeah, no issues. Everybody was super cool at the border. Had all of our paperwork yeah. uh, ready for the shotgun. Uh, um, I think it took us. That was all smooth. What, half hour? Yeah, probably. We made it up to, uh, I don't Past so, Chilliwack. Past Chilliwack and Hope and all that. And we found an awesome little campsite by this raging river so we slept like big dogs and the original campground we were going for got washed out in all the flooding they had last year um so we had to kind of go we ended up going up from that and going where probably the construction equipment had flattened out and parked to rebuild the bridge that had been washed out yeah um so not the the like most super beautiful scenic camp spot but totally flat and totally usable and uh and not washed out by floodwaters yeah so you know we had dinner we went to bed and everything was cool it was supposed to rain all night it didn't and we got up that morning had breakfast dilly dallied around and then we took off we got about a mile up the road and sheared a stub axle on our on the passenger side of our uh patriot camper Yep, that happened. In the middle of Canada. Felt a thunk. And watched the tire go and right past us. Right past us. Our so, buddy that we're traveling with got on the uh, radio and he goes, I'll follow the tire. So he and his kids yeah. went and uh, got retrieved the tri tire and wheel and brought it back. Um, sometimes you got peaches, sometimes you got lemons. Um, I guess it's not, they say if, it, if, if it's not adventure unless you have some adversity. Well, I think this trip is, uh, hopefully this is the end of our adversity. So we were like, what do we do? So we jacked it up and there was no fixing it. I was hoping it was just a wheel bearing. It was not a wheel yeah, bearing. Yeah, we were hoping it was the wheel bearings because I mean, even though we checked those very frequently and the, the nothing was wiggly, but we had a spare set of wheel bearings. I had just like three days prior pre-packed them with grease and wrapped them carefully in their yeah. plastic bag and put them in the spare parts section. So we're like, we got this, we can fix this. So I'm looking at it and I go, we ain't fixing this. Yeah, fix this. Um, the stub axle for the uh, the cruise master suspension is all integral. It's not bolted on, so basically you have to replace the in, the entire swing arm to replace the stub axle. Well, on top of that, when the wheel came off, it basically destroyed the whole electric braking system. So now we need a whole the whole braking system, hub, all that stuff. So we're like. We're in Canada. Oh. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Um, so this is part of full timing, is all of these uh, little hiccups along the road that yeah. you gotta figure out. So, you know. She got on the phone, luckily. And everybody always asks me, does the Wii Boost work? Yes. Yes, it does. We were able to contact 
Pat or Exploration Outfitters and talked to Ray, who was a tremendous help. We uh, he got the ball rolling on his end. Yeah, um, they had a swing swing arm at Exploration Outfitters, but it's a driver's, driver's side, side, so it doesn't help us. So he was. We were seeing if they could like pull one off a trailer and send it to us. Um, they weren't able to do that, but this is a big shout out. Um, he sent an email to Patriot Campers in Australia because the Cruise Master suspension on our trailer is proprietary to our trailer. It's not like the other Cruise Master suspension. So Justin, the owner of Patriot Campers, was in the Fink Desert racing. He got the email and basically said, I want a swing out mailed out to them ASAP. So as far as I know, this swing out's already on the way. We're waiting, Ray's waiting to get the tracking information. Uh, Cause you know, there's a quite a significant time difference uh, between here and Australia. Yeah. So when we're awake, they're asleep. So there's a, a narrow window of communication. So he'll probably get that tracking information sometime today. Yeah. And, so uh, we were able to get a hold of Hope Towing. And I gotta tell you, they are absolutely the guy, David, that came out, David? I think so. Yeah, really good guy. Um, Did a stellar job yeah. getting the trailer on the I was stressing, how is this guy gonna get this trailer on the, on, the, on the flatbed without destroying something? And he was awesome. Yep, he had- Pulled it right up. Had these no cool little like hard plastic slider things that he strategically placed in places. And, and, and you could see it, the wheels turning when he's looking at it going, how am I gonna do this uh, yep. without destroying you could, it? You could see him totally puzzling it out. And uh, he, he got it up there with those little sliders, just slick as a whistle. Yeah. No pun so, intended. No pun intended. <laughs> but it was slick. But it, it's been an interesting trip. But again, like Deb said, this is full timing and you got to deal, you know, with what, whether you get apples or lemons. And we got lemons t the last c couple of days, but... You turn well, it into a learning a learning situation. Um, we we ended up being able to find a campground. Actually, this campground is in the town of it's right on the outside of Hope, but you can walk to the entire town of Hope. Yeah, from but, the place. But you can't tell that you're technically in town because you're Other in the middle of a can, rainforest. You can hear the train, the cars. Well, you can hear the cars going by the road in front of the campground, but you can't really see them and you're in a rainforest. What's the name of this place? Oh, good grief. Ch 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 I can't pronounce anything in Canada. Chukahula? No, it's like Chukahula. Oh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, anyways, it's the campground in the town of Hope. Very, um, but the, the cool thing was, is Deb called him and said, hey, because we're having a, you know, we can well, initially we, we got to wait the, for these parts. So we need a place to stay. We didn't want to stay in a hotel. And, and by the way, a tow truck will be dropping off our broken trailer into the campground. And, and, and in the States, you tell them that and they're like, oh, no, you're not yeah. here. They were, they were welcoming. They were like, cool. Um, we got this camp spot until the 23rd. I'm hoping the parts will be here before the 23rd, way before the 23rd. I think we can switch them out, our, switch it out ourselves. If we can't, we already got a, a, a mechanic here and hope on waiting to find out when our stuff's gonna get here. And again, uh, the car guys in, uh, in hope uh, a couple of the mechanics, several of the mechanics we called said they would not work on it if it was not parts that they themselves ordered, um, yeah. regardless of the fact that they couldn't order them. Um, but the, the guys at, at the car guys, they were like, you know, hey, we, you gotta, we're not gonna leave you hanging. Um, we can totally work with you. So, uh, yeah, you know, that it, it was just really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, and, and I gotta tell you this part, it's really pretty. <laughs> it's very pretty. There are some really loud uh, crows, crows here. Yep. Um, very loud crows. Yeah, but and, I and, mean, and the people... adorable tiny little brown squirrels. Brown squirrels. Brown. They're tree squirrels. I thought they were ground squirrels, but they're tree squirrels. Yeah, and Gunner doesn't um, like them. Gunner wants to eat them, but but they're they're tiny and brown. 
so new squirrels. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, we got lemons, but now we're just sitting and waiting for our parts to come in and I'll be doing some... Uh, <laughs> phone I'll, call. I'll be doing... Uh, video editing. Video editing and uh, I gotta fix work on my high lift jack. Here's a public service announcement. Don't do what I did. Stick your high lift jack up there and then forget about it because I jacked up the trailer and then it wouldn't come back down. So now I gotta take it apart, clean it, and clean it, lube it, and throw some dry lube on it. Yep. So that's our story. I'm gonna take you around and show you the the damage. Um, it, it's it looks worse, I think, than it is. Um, and but I, hey, you know, part uh, we're traveling uh, with some friends on this trip, and and uh, one of the things he he's got his his teenage boys with him, and. One of the things that, you know, again, this sucks. Obviously, we would rather this not have happened. Yes. But it gives you the opportunity to um, work with adversity. And it's giving the kids opportunity to see, okay, this sucks. This was a, a catastrophic failure. But how do we adapt, improvise, and overcome to get out of where we were? Yeah. And get things lined up all the the ta tactical strategic planning that that goes into place to get everything working so that we can get back on the road again so it's been it's been good in that aspects um and and again it's part it's part of life not everything goes perfectly and you got to roll with it and figure it out and we've been lucky and get it yeah we've been very part. lucky I and mean, get it moved on all over and we've had very little issues i mean obviously everyone knows about our coil pack issue but i mean it is what it is we'll deal with it i feel bad for raj and his kids but i think they're gonna bounce out tomorrow and go and do what they're gonna do and we'll either catch up to them or or we won't and yeah, they'll still gonna, have we're gonna catch up with them all i gotta do is give him caffeine and he can drive for like 20 hours oh so. yeah so and, so and I we'll actually be hitting, enjoy we'll be hitting it. all the coffee places on the way up. Yeah. So, anyways, that is where where we're at right now, and this will come up on our next uh, video. I'm hoping to have out within the next day or so. It's been like ten days, and that's too long. Yep. So, alrighty, I'm gonna take you around and show you the carnage, and we'll get back. The carnage. So poor Gunner was. Uh, you know, it was stressful for him too. So he got he got a he got bone. him a nice good bone. So he'll be biting on that for quite a while. Fingers in front of the 